Welcome to Cracklin' Rosie True Crime. Today we will be taking a deeper look at the SOS timeline. Thank you for being here. Before we begin, let's take care of a little bit of housekeeping. This project is not funded by an outside source, nor is it monetized. It is for fair use for educational purposes only. This timeline chronicles the Son of Sam case and it incorporates available data from the birth of David Berkowitz through current events. All sources are respectfully noted on the reference slide and where appropriate directly on the mention, the bullet or the link. It was created with a lot of love and so I present it with love. We don't all have to be friends, but we don't need to be enemies either. We should, however, treat each other with respect and professionalism. I did my best to present information without bias so that it can be useful to all, regardless of stance on the case. Hundreds of hours have gone into the SOS timeline, much of its source research and artistically designed by me. It has morphed into more of an information hub. I have so many sources to thank, and so we will begin with the preliminary reference sheet, ironically, the very thing that has held up the release of the timeline. It keeps growing, and I am committed to crediting all proper sources. If you identify a missing source or need to claim credit for information presented, please email cracklinrosietruecrime at gmail.com. Each section is arranged alphabetically. This is the sources and references slide. I will go through a few today, not all, but it will be available when released for your viewing. We mentioned the People vs. David Berkowitz site, where we were able to obtain police reports and other information. We also list books that were used, websites, killer tapes, and more. We used many articles from multiple periodicals and news outlets, and those will all be listed. We highlight members of the community that had a substantial input in the creation of the timeline. And for those newer to the case, we recommend some good reads and documentaries. We've also given you the name of YouTube channels which are run independently and focus primarily on Son of Sam case. That was anyone with 50 plus videos on just Son of Sam. Of course, big shout out to all of the communities, the groups on Facebook, and many of the shout outs are gonna be directly on the link. So for pictures that were sourced and that sort of thing, those will be right on the link. So I respectfully ask that if you use the CRTC SOS timeline, you mention the channel and please do not alter the artwork. And let's all remember, it's not just a true crime story. To the victims and the survivors, it's personal. Now let's break out the timeline. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a short one. I had a few things that I announced on my YouTube community page, as well as the Cracklin' Rosie Facebook page. So I wanted to just follow up with those things, use this time as yet another opportunity to highlight the timeline, which will be available very soon. We are buttoning up the references, as well as making sure that all the links work on the PDF. I'm gonna start with something fun, and this one is for you, Jake. If we start on birth of a serial killer, the actual slide itself features artwork and pictures just so it's visually appealing for you, aesthetically pleasing. And then there's a link down here, which if you hover over says childhood photos. If you click on that, it takes you to a sub link which I created Birth of a Serial Killer, Early Photos. So that was his first address there. Nathan and Pearl Berkowitz, and I absolutely love this picture. So I've just added some embellishments, kind of made a photo album. And then we have some couple of childhood ones. And here I'll give a shout out to community member Rena. Uh, about a year and a half ago, she sent me I think these two photos that are on this page, so there's her shout out. And there's a baby Berkowitz. And then we have some others, which are available. All you have to do is a Google search. I just wanted everything in one place and I wanted it to be pretty. I'm just gonna scale through these quickly. I, I, I don't wanna ruin everything for you. I want y'all to be able to do this.
Jake. So that's just one set of photographs, okay? That's just one link. Those were the youngest ones that we had. And there's more. I'm not going to go through everything on each slide. Okay, so then the next slide is early school days. And you can see here from September 1958, age 5, he attended PS 77 on Ward Avenue. There's a link that you can hover, hover over. And of course, there's pictures here. Those are just, again, to be aesthetically pleasing so that the slides aren't ugly to look at. But if you go to the link, PS 77, there's his grammar school again. It's set like a photo album. So you do put in the third grade, and there's Berkowitz. And that's his little grammar school montage. Okay, you go attend junior high school, uh, PS 123, and there's the school. In 1968, he was in class 9 5, and there's Berkowitz. So you may see these snippets here on Google, but now you have it in context in case you didn't have the whole class photo or know what year it was, that sort of thing. So that's junior high. And while we're here, I will show, um, well, the high school will be on the other slide. These are David Berkowitz's bar mitzvah pictures. Again, al album is created by Rosie. It's not an authentic album, but he um, had his bar mitzvah at Temple Adath Israel, and there it is. Beautiful photo of Nathan fixing David Berkowitz's tie in the mirror. Everyone loves that photo of Pearl. And then the entire family. So these are the kind of goodies that you're going to get on the timeline. There's David with cousins and a few friends. And the bottom one, let me lift up for you, is David doing the twist with Pearl. So I think that we're going to move on from this, but Jake has been asking a lot about pictures, so there's some pictures for you, Jake. Let's go back to the main timeline. Okay, so on my community page of YouTube, a couple days ago I featured one of the slides, a highlight of the slide, on Mr. Williams Hall. And I said that I would show you a little bit more on that. Basically, I'm showing you how to get to it. So today's not like a show about any individual topic. I'm just kind of scanning through. Like I said, I want to give you another opportunity to check out how it works. So you have main slides, or you're going to see one big PDF document. And on that document, are pieces or what I'm calling slides because the presentation was created in a slide. Within those slides are links. Within some of those links are sublinks and reels. And I think there's even a few where there's links in links in links. So you have to look around, hover around because there's just a lot of stuff all together. We also include something that we call bullets, which you're going to see now. And those are like Easter eggs. They're kind of like bonus material. So let's go down to the arrest slide. And because his apartment obviously was searched after the arrest, that's why it falls on this slide. So Son of Sam is caught. This is the main slide. Aesthetic stuff, but don't let that fool you. You can hover and see some stuff. And actually, this one's a nice little bonus. Before we jump on the, you've already seen some of what I have on Mr. Uh, Mr. Williams Hall on YouTube, but we have an insert on Pals, uh, Pals. and this is the whole law lawyer steals the tapes. So there's some news on that. Again, today's not the show. I'm just showing you. We have some stuff, and I've done extensive work on newspapers. Dot com in getting some of the really good archives for you most of which you need subscriptions for most of you have little snippets and whatnot i got the whole bojammy so i'm sharing it all with you 
I just found this so interesting because he like appeared out of nowhere, kind of like <laughs> Gregunto Lacinto <laughs> just appeared one day. And he said that the Berkowitz family hired him, but everyone was kind of like, did you hire him? Did you hire him? But uh, I found it pretty neat because I went back in history, of course, like I like to do. And, uh, you know, he had a lot of legal problems before he came to the case. But I'm going to leave some of that for you to read through. Very interesting. Anyway, I'm sorry. I got off track. I just wanted to let you know that some of these, uh, even though they are for aesthetic reasons, some of them are links. My point was make sure you hover everywhere because there are links everywhere. Okay, so back to Mr. Williams Hall. Okay, so in the arrest files, everything is very, very organized. So if you go on the people's site, it's amazing. And they've done a great job at rearranging stuff. Initially, it was just like whew, all this information and everybody was like this. Um, but now they've really improved a lot with an index. But this, I really wanted it organized in a way that was made sense to me because I use it for my research. So if you come on this arrest files, this is a sublink, a link within a link. And basically it serves as an index because everything is organized. So if you go down here, you'll see it says Berkowitz, Berkowitz's apartment and automobile photos. There is what we call a bullet next to it. Okay, I'm going to get to the bullet in a minute. If you click the Berkowitz apartment and automobile, automobile photos, go there, you're going to get the information that was FOIA'd. And I tried to clarify some stuff. I don't want to alter things. I just, if, if anything was done to make things aesthetically better, it was to the background or adding clarity. Uh, you know, I'd not alter anything, anything like that. So this is, you can find this, um, this piece on the people's site, but now it's all in one place. So if we go to the bullet next to it, the bullets are like Easter eggs. There's extra bonus information. And that's where I have the slide, which you've seen on Mr. Williams Hall. And there's prison journals here that he writes about Mr. Williams Hall. Uh, today's not a show. I'm showing you the timeline. This is for you to read or for me to follow up with uh, a podcast or a short. And remember, those will all be, I made a special playlist for the timeline. And everything that I do from this timeline will be in that playlist. If you look over here, you're going to see a reel. And this is something like two years ago. I think it was John Catalano shared in one of the Facebook groups. Uh, shout out to WPIX Archives. And it is the reel that shows Edna Williams. So, slide, reel, links within slides. And let's go back. I want to take the opportunity to give another shout out. So just give me a moment. We did get. Okay, so if you go to the Berkowitz letters, and technically this could have been in both spots. It could have been right next to the Mr. Williams Hall, but I chose to put it with the writings because this whole slide deals with Berkowitz's writings. So I'm going to bring this up because it's gorgeous. And this is a big shout out to community member Paul Hart that shared this with me, you know, about four days ago. I think it was the 23rd or the 24th. We were talking about extensively about Mr. Williams Hole after I posted, you know, on my page. And he told me he had this available and that he was willing to share. And so, Paul, thank you. It just, it's more beauty and it makes the timeline even more valuable. So this is that crime magazine, November 1976, and it covers herrings. And again, this is like an unbiased presentation. I'm just showing you what we have in store for you. And it's meant for you to look, maybe do a little of your own digging, and then 
make your own assessments, but I got the whole thing from him within that link. I've included a letter to Dr. Abramson where he explains the writings on the wall. And it's just very interesting link. Anyway, all these goodies are on the timeline for you. Thanks again, Paul. This one was a real, really great, colorful one. Paul Hart. Okay. So I'm trying to think what were some of the other items of discussion in the groups that we were going to get back to people on. All right, here's a good one. Here's another bullet on the arrest file. So shortly after his arrest, he gets in touch with D Channel. And now this I presented in my NISA video, whatever, a month or two ago. So shout out to Dustin Madeline. And I love that because I think that name is amazing. Dustin Madeline. Oh my goodness. I wish that was my name. What's your name? Dustin Madeline. Awesome. Anyhow, Dustin had shared, and this was quite a while ago, this picture of D Channel. And I featured it, of course, gave her a shout out on my Cracklin' Rosie page when she shared it. Well, when I was doing some digging, um, actually on the Basteri link with Maury Thierry and Nessa Moskowitz and Lee Chase... And I knew, you know, and, and I'm not the one who linked it. You know, this is something that has been linked for quite a while. That D, Ch Channel, uh, D Channel and Lee Chase are the same person. But when I saw this picture of Lee Chase, I'm like, oh, definitely. I mean, look, and she was quite beautiful. Um, I'm not even going to bring it up here. But if you look at this picture, uh, you know, something pops out right away. But she, it, it's definitely her, Okay. Um, so I found this picture when I was doing some digging on the Geraldo show. I wasn't looking for it. I was digging on the Geraldo show and I'm like, whoa, anyhow. So I presented that to you within the D, cha uh, D channel, <laughs> Blah. within the D channel, you know, I did some more research. So there's some articles for you. We incorporate the letter from David Berkowitz to... Dr. Abramson, and just so that you know, these are excerpts, so there's a whole other section where all of the letters are available, but this way you don't have to dig. I mean, you're doing D, boom, here's a letter. They're not all the letters, because I, re I recognize that there are a lot of things on auction, but anything, anyway, one of the things, I'm, again, this isn't a show today, but I might as well bring it up while I'm here. So on auction, and this is a shout out to Anna Luna, who sent this to me months ago, sometime last year. David sent a gift to D, and it was his copy of the Treasury of Witchcraft and Devilry, okay? And this card uh, was with the gift. It was D Channel's birthday, and it's dated August 14th, 1979. This is for your birthday and our anniversary, our first meeting. Wasn't it sometime in August of 77? So that stuck out to me. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Because we had this whole debacle of, was D Channel the uh, minister? And I, I gave a clip on, I think it was the Facebook page, where Schwartz gave the whole story about the Baptist minister came in and uh, Berkowitz insisted on pleading guilty jumping back. But prior to that, I found this really interesting because he would have said, isn't that when we first corresponded or started talking? But he said our first meeting. So initially there was thought that maybe D was this person because she was this uh, Christian advisor specializing in demonology. So I'm like, okay, well maybe Schwartz just got it wrong and said Baptist minister. And uh, it was just bugging me because I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, they, she, he's saying they met and that's right at the time of arrest. But of course we learn that it was actually Sister Ollie Smith and there's a whole slide on her, which I said I would show. So not a show today, <laughs> but I am showing you some of the goodies when you hit on a link, a sub link or a bullet within the link. So this is all information I've had, I've posted now it's just all together and I want you to see it. You're doing research it's like, oh, okay, a whole bunch of things in one place. Is it everything? No, I'm sure it's not, but it should provoke some thoughts so that you'll, you know, get an idea of things that you want to bury yourself in. Okay. 
So, okay, we're going to move on from the D channel. Well, let's go to the plea, since I already brought her up and I talked about her a little bit in Facebook. Let's look at Sister Ollie Smith, okay? And without getting into a whole kabang on it, she was from bedford Stuy, and she worked at Kings County. So we know now that that's how she got in so quickly after his arrest while he was in the psychiatric detention. And there she is. Praising and praying. Some articles here that I was able to find. And this is her step-granddaughter. I'm not going to get into that whole story today. But she had some quite interesting things to say about Sister Smith. But it's all here. And then again, sublink of a reel. A lot of good stuff in here. So just a quickie. Again, today's not a show on anything independent. It is all about the timeline. All right. So yeah, so I briefly went through the Williams Hall. I showed you um, some of the stuff we had there. Here's the links. Now let me go a little deeper into the bullets because I, I love the bullets. They're such a cool idea. So yeah, again, think of the bullets as more bonus stuff. Like, does anybody really need to know the Ollie Smith story? Does anyone really, you know need to know some of the, or see some of the extra things that we pulled together on on uh, on different things like Mr. Williams' hole and whatnot. But to enthusiasts of the case, I mean, I can only speak for myself, but those are the things that I really, really dig. Okay, so there's bullets all around the timeline. At this point, because this is still growing, at this time there's 15 bonus bullets. So at the end, you're going to be able to go to a link and we're challenging you to find them. So, you know, listen, true crime is so dark. This case is so sad all around. We got to add a little light. So, okay. I'll give you one last scan from the beginning and then I'm going to cut it here today, guys. I just really wanted to show you some of the cool stuff. Okay. So what you heard in the beginning, I meant with all my heart. And it's on the timeline. And it's not as long. I, I, I just put what I needed legally. But what I shared with you today on the timeline, I mean it. Um, you know. The, the right thing to do is give, give shout outs. And if I didn't do it anywhere, I'm very clear here. Let's email me. I, I do not want to take credit for anybody else's work. Um, you know, most of this stuff is available to all of us. It's the things that we find that's from the deeper digging that a lot of people don't do. You know, listen, a lot of people just want to watch videos and enjoy the case. They're not researchers, quote unquote. Uh, they're just enthusiasts. And that's cool. Listen, who the hell? Everyone doesn't want to be researched. Not everyone's a geekoid like me. Um, so again, Jake, we gave you some of some of what you were looking for. We go through childhood, through some traumas, and we go through teenage years, co-op city, links on there, military years, which I will tell you I'm doing personal, um, personally I'm doing a deeper, deeper dive. Uh, there's something there. <laughs> there's something there. Uh, there's a bullet here. There's military photos, aesthetic photos. Um, there's some articles. There's a whole link. Well, <laughs> sorry. I'm just going to go through fast. There's a whole link on Iris Gerhardt, Letters to a Lover. There's some excerpts that were taken from Carposi. We have some articles. This might, this would be, a, uh, we've talked about Iris. It's been a long time, but I think I, can, I need to do another show on Iris. The love of Berkowitz's life. Okay, so this one, 
was available through auction at a very high price, but I was able to dig out um, the rest of the excerpts through the archives, so that'll be included in there. And of course, they're, uh, they're uh, printouts from the archives, so I didn't buy the paper for $500. I'm not that wacky yet. And then some articles, other articles. But, uh, okay. Now we'll go back. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing more diving into the military. My mil military video is up there. Uh, we do extensive work on crossing the line, the tipping point. And this is important to me because that was always my thing. People are like, why are you so into this case? You know, you're not really personally affected. And for me, it was like, what made him cross the line? What was the tipping point? What was it? And for those of you who've been following my work, you know I've done some psych videos. That's always been it. And we're going to definitely do a show on this one. But it shows all his apartments. And there's a couple bullets here, and I'm going to leave those for you. I want you to be surprised on some stuff. Police reports, um, it dates, uh, you know, crossing line. This is the part from when he comes home from the military before the harassment, okay, before the reported harassments. Of course, you know, we have the Neto timeline. We have the car timeline, Lots on Glassman, too. Lots on all of those. Mostly Carr and Glassman, but there's reels. There's newspaper articles. There's police reports, pictures. Michelle Foreman. Um, geographic location of the shootings. There's a reel here, and that kind of gives you the climate of the time pre-arrest. Well, let's go to a ballistics report with the hay. So you see that, you know, the ballistics link is there and there's reports from the FOIA reports. There's one consolidated that was from Klausner, I believe. Yeah, there's the, see, there's the shout out on the bottom. Source, son of Sam, Lawrence D. Klausner. So while I feel like I did so much work sourcing this, collecting it, making it make sense, putting it together, I really do my best to credit everybody as appropriate. Okay, let's get out of that. So that was a that was a link on a slide. We got all the crime slides with everything that we thought was um, important to show for them. We don't have anything that's you know going to gross you out. We wanted to stay respectful to all the victims and survivors. And I'll tell you, there was a lot that was very hard to find that, you know, some of these subscriptions, you just have to pay and then you get what you're looking for. You get little snippets here, little snippets there. And notice these crime scenes, the backdrop are from the actual crime scenes. Their photos, you know, a lot of thought went into this artistically. Um, not that that should be the most important to you. Obviously, it's the information that it's important and everything is right here. Police reports, victims file, crime location, via odd stops. Everybody gets a shout out. I mean, this is just something that you, it's not something that you're going to come back to once. You're going to look at it once and you're going to be like, oh, okay, I got to go back to that and go back to it and go back to that. But for each slide, we just tried to put as much information that was available as we could. As I said in my recording in the beginning, my opening, it's I tried to present it as unbiased as possible. This is for everyone to use. It's being given with positive light. Constructive criticism is fair through the channel, Cracklin Rosie, true crime at gmail.com. If there's things that could be added, you know, this was started two years ago and then the data dump came out. So that held it up. Okay. Then, you know, then life happened and then got back on it, and then the Maury Terry files came out. So there's still a lot. Um, this is going to keep growing. Let's put it that way. All we ask is, you know, I put this together for me. It's something that I wanted very much to do. Um, and my hope was that it would be something positive that, 
you know, in the community when there's so much turmoil, I'm hoping that maybe somehow it can help people work a little bit more together. I don't care what your stance is on the case. All we need to care about is being professional to one another. I like talking to everybody about the case. This Santucci, I love that picture of him. He's so like strong looking, right? Like hawk. Love it. Okay, we talk about the many stories of Berkowitz, but I think the last um, short I, I did that with you, and it's a bunch of information here. I mean, we highlight a lot of stuff. Maury Terry in his book, uh, Doc Cap in his book, uh, Jack Jones is on here, and I got some articles from Jack Jones, so you, you're just going to love going through some of this archive stuff. We talked about the bullets. Um, it's just so beautiful and colorful, and... I love it. It's helped me. I'm going to be doing many shows with it. It's going to be made available to researchers that want it. Y'all heard the beginning. I stand by that, you know. Don't alter my shit. <laughs> but you're welcome to use it. Give the channel. You don't even have to say my name. Give the channel a shout out. We appreciate it. My intention is to continue... Um, the growth of this timeline and, and so that it's available for whoever wants to use it. And, you know, I hope that you love it too. And, and if you don't, that's okay. You know, no one's forcing you to use it. It's just, it's, it's something that I feel like I want to share. It's something I feel like I want to share. So, all right, be on the lookout for it. We're tightening it up and it's going to be available soon. And uh, I'll put something out on my Facebook page and community page on how to obtain it. I'm going to let you go because this was supposed to be like a 10 minute and I'm thinking we're like somewhere around 30. So sorry about that, folks. Hope you enjoyed our time. Hope you enjoyed another peek at the timeline. And, and it's all coming. It's all coming. And if it's all in here, if it's not in here, it's going to be in here. And it's a collaborative effort. Come on. I'm always asking people, hey, if you have information, share it. You want information from me? Email me. Email me. That's the best way to reach me. If we are in contact on uh, Messenger, that's cool too. You know, you could drop me a quick message. I can't always promise I'm going to get back to you right away because I have a, a, you know, I have a busy life too, just like I'm sure you guys do. But um, yeah, I'm pretty easy to talk to. Just ask. Just ask. All right, guys. Ooh, what a blab session. Sorry, sorry. Have a great day, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Peace, the timeline.